Hello viewers, I'm your teacher, Roger Mishira, who will take you through History Form 4. And today we are starting a new topic, cooperation in Africa. And in cooperation in Africa, we get to Pan-Africanism. So we'll get to know what is Pan-Africanism. What is the origin of Pan-Africanism, right? Who are the pioneers of this uh, Pan-Africanism? The station you're watching is the Limu TV, where you get to watch and learn. Welcome all, and let us learn. Now, class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We'll be able to define the term Pan-Africanism and also get to discuss its origin, right? That is the origin of Pan-Africanism. Now, what is this Pan-Africanism, right? Now, this is the movement that aims at the unity of all people of African descent all over the world, right? That movement, good, that aims at the unity of all peoples of African descent all over the world. Those people from the African origin, be it they're in America, North America, South America, be it they're in Canada, be it they're in Europe, Britain, good, China, the Asian, the Asian continent, right? So it, 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 was, it aimed at uniting people of the African descent or the African origin all over the world. Now, now that you have looked at what is Pan-Africanism, Pan can you get to look at origin of Pan-Africanism, right? What is the origin of Pan-Africanism? So the origin of Pan-Africanism is closely associated with the transatlantic trade. And when we talk of transatlantic trade, the Africans were, 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 really hit, were really hit by this trade, right? Now remember, the slaves were mistreated, right? Now the issue of slave trade changed, uh, changed their status, right? They knew how they were, trans how they were captured from the villages, how they were bungled into the into the ship, right? Those uh, those those, uh, uh, those conditions in the ship, right? They were packed uh, in, in in large numbers. Now this mistreatment changed their status, right? From freedom to slavery. Remember, when they were in Africa, they had freedom, right? Now they have been taken out of the country as slaves. You see. Now the, the slave trade, it really changed their status. And also you must get to know that they were forcefully captured from their homes, right? Remember, we looked at the social, the social impacts of slavery, rather the, the social Im impact of slave trade. That is back in form two. We did learn that it really caused a lot of misery and suffering to, these, to their families. And another thing we must note that in the ships, they were overcrowded as the merchants could uh, uh, pack them as much uh, 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 as many as many slaves as, as as possible remember now the merchants were after looking at getting profit now they, they, they could get as many as many slaves as they could right and remember they had few ships now in a ship that is supposed to carry uh, around 200 people they could pack over a thousand slaves now get to look at how the the condition they were in in the ship right for example there's an image there get look at that right how they are seated very close closely packed, right? Then others were also forced to lie down, right? You see that, right? So a ship that is supposed to carry around 200 people, it was forced to carry over 1,000 people. See that? Now in the ships, they were very overcrowded. Now these are some of the conditions that really uh, facilitated this or rather, or, 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 or rather made the, 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 the African people of the African origin, it awakened them. Right? That's why they decided to form a, a, a unifying factor. Good. And also, remember, it was not it was not an easy job, right? Getting to, to transfer from the Africa to the South American continent. Now these slaves were tied, right, in the ships using the, 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 the chains. This prevent riots and also jumping jumping over. But however, we must get to know that a number of Africans could jump over the ship and die in the Atlantic Ocean. And also, it was not lost on the Africans that the Africans were despised and ridiculed. Now, they did not see that these are, uh, they, 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 they saw that, despite the fact that they have been, uh, they have been sold out of sla into slavery, right? It was not the end game for them. That is why they had to unite, right? and be against the European oppression. And also, we must get to know that the the, 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 now when they were united, they were united in humiliation and grief also. What united them are the challenges they faced through, right? So they were united in humiliation and grief. Now the Africans in the diaspora came to view themselves as having a common destiny, right? So you get someone in the, in the farm, 
in South America, and you, and you also know you also know that they work in the in, in the um, in the sugarcane plantations. Talk of the size of plantations, the tobacco plantation in South America, right? That's where we had plantations. Now you get someone from Angola, from Angola, yes, you are black, right? Get someone from Kenya, black, South America, black, right? Now they met, they were united under humiliation and grief. That is what united united the Africans to form the Pan-Africanism. Now, can you get to look at the aims? What were some of the aims of Pan-Africanism? One, we get to, they strive towards the improvement of the living conditions of the black people all over the world. Remember, these are people who went through a lot, right? There's that misery, suffering, talk of being tied in chains, right? Talk of being overworked, right? Overloaded, overburdened, right? Now, this is what, in fact, they were striving towards uh, getting better living conditions for the black people all over the world. And also, another aim of Pan-Africans is that they fight against colonialism, which further enhance the declaration of, of black people, right? You know, they knew that the African continent is still under the colonial powers, right? Now, they, fought, they made an organization or an association at least to fight against colonialism uh, in Africa. And lastly but not least, they fight uh, European racism, Right, the black the, the, the black people in the in, in the in the European countries, right? They were highly discriminated. Talk of the houses, they lived different houses, right? Talk of the schools, right? Talk of the uh, the, the public uh, transport system, they were highly discriminated, right? So they were after ending the racial discrimination that was subjected to the black people. Then finally, they had to take a measure to restore the dignity of the black people and liberate them the bondage of slavery. Remember. I told you, slave trade changed the status of Africans from freedom into slavery, right? Now, these status, now they, they really wanted to restore their lost dignity of freedom, right? Now, after being sold out of, into slavery, now they really wanted to change their, their dignity or, that, or rather restore their dignity into freedom of the black people and also get them out of the slavery bondage. Now, class... For our assignment, can you get to define what Pan-African Pan-Africanism is, and also state the aims of Pan-Africanism? And as always, get to your reference book, Evolve the World, History and Government, the Oxford University Press, the seventh edition. And as always, this is a Limu TV, your favorite learning channel where you get to watch and learn. Thank you all, and let us see you in the next class.